topic for today is all about rational numbers. When we talk about rational numbers, these are numbers that can be written in the form A over B, where B must not be equal to zero. For example, we have four fifths. Next, let's have negative one third. Next, we have five tenths, which is the same with five over ten, or simply one half. Next, we have four, which is also the same with four over one. And negative five, which is also the same with negative five over one. Let us now proceed to the operations on rational numbers. First, let's have the addition and subtraction of similar fractions. In this case, let's have our first example. We have one-fifth plus three-fifth. Since they have the same denominator, all we need to do is to copy the denominator and add the numerators. One plus three, that will be equal to four, and therefore your answer will be four-fifths. Next, let's have negative five-sixths plus one-sixth. Now again, since they are similar fractions, all we need to do is to copy the denominator 6 and then add our numerators. Negative 5 plus 1, that is equal to negative 4. We still need to simplify negative 4, 6 and dividing both of them by 2, you will come up with negative 2 thirds. Next, let's have 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths. In this case, we're just going to copy the denominator 7 and subtract our numerators. 5 minus 2, that will be equal to 3. Therefore, your answer is 3 sevenths. Next, let's have negative 1 fifth minus 2 fifth. Following our rule in CPO, what we need to do is to copy the numerator of the first, which is negative 1, change the minus sign to plus sign, and then get the opposite of positive 2, which is negative 2. And then you will come up with negative 1 plus negative 2, that is negative 3 fifths. Now let's have the addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. For example, we have 3 fifths plus 4 sevenths. In this case, what we're going to do first is to cross multiply our numerators and denominators. So we have 3 times 7, that will be equal to 21 plus the product of 4 and 5, that will be equal to 20 all over the product of your denominators. So 5 times 7, that will be equal to 35. Now adding the numerator, 21 plus 20, you will have here 41 over 35. Next, let's have 4 fifths minus 5 eighths. Again, what we're going to do is to cross-multiply our numerator and denominator. So the first step is 4 times 8. That will be equal to 32. Minus the product of 5 and 5. You will have here 25. All over the product of the denominators, which is equal to 40. Subtracting the numerators, you will come up with 7 over 40. Next, let's have 3 fourths plus negative 1 fifth. So again, what we're going to do is to cross multiply first our numerators and denominators. So we have first 3 times 5 and that will be equal to 15. Next, we have 4 times negative 1. In this case, we will associate the negative sign to our numerator. And 4 times negative 1, that will be equal to negative 4. All over the product of your denominators, 4 times, 20, 4 times 5 will be equal to 20. Simplifying that, we will come up with 11 over 20. Let's now have the multiplication and division of rational numbers. Now, in multiplying and dividing rational numbers, we will disregard whether they are similar or dissimilar fractions. Now, let's have here our example, 4 fifths times 3 sevenths. In this case, what we're going to do is to multiply our numerators. So, that will be 4 times 3 all over the product of the denominators. So, you have 5 times 7. 
Simplifying that, it will come up with 12 over 35. Next, let's have 2 thirds times 5 eighths. Now, what we're going to do here is, again, to multiply our numerators. So, you will come up with 2 times 5 all over the product of the denominators 3 and 8. Now, as you can see, we can actually cancel 2 and 8 because both of them are divisible by 2. So, canceling 2 and 8, you will have here 1 and this will now become 4. Now, simplifying that, 1 times 5 will be equal to 5 and 3 times 4 will be equal to 12. Let's now have our third example. Suppose you have 4 nines divided by 3 fifths. Now, if we are going to divide rational numbers, all we need to do is to first copy our first rational number, which is 4 nines. Next, we are going to change our operation from division to multiplication, and then we are going to get the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds. Next, we will be multiplying the numerators and denominators. 4 times 5, that will be equal to 20, over 9 times 3, which is 27. Next, let's have negative 5 sevenths divided by 3 over 14. Now, in this case, again, we're going to copy our first rational number, which is negative 5 sevenths. Next, we will change our operation from division to multiplication and then get the reciprocal of 3 14ths, which is 14 over 3. Then, we are going to multiply both numerators and denominators. You will have here negative 5 times 14 all over 7 times 3. We can now cancel 14 and 7 since they are divisible by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2 and 7 divided by 7 is 1. Simplifying that, you will have negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 over 1 times 3 which is 3. Note that for the process of multiplication and division, if you are given and a mixed number, all you need to do is to change first the mixed number into its improper form and then you proceed with our operations or procedures earlier. Now let's have 4 and 1 third. How are we going to change this to improper fraction? First, is you need to multiply the whole number and the denominator. 4 times 3, that will be equal to 12 and then you're going to add the numerator which is 1 all over the denominator, which is 3. Simplifying that, 12 plus 1, that will be equal to 13 over 3.